Um, this evening, it's um, a bit of a strange one really. Going up to Hollyhead from Shrewsbury on the Transport for Wales business premier service that they like to call it, uh, which runs from Cardiff Central all the way to Hollyhead. Um, subsidised by the Welsh Assembly as, um, as you may know. I'm not quite sure whether they're going to serve me any food. It's normally when you get on at Cardiff you order your food and then it's it's finished by the time you get past Hereford. So I'm going to hedge my bets a bit. I haven't paid the um, supplement yet. I'm going to get on the train and I'm going to see what they say. This service actually leaves Hollyhead for Cardiff very early in the morning, Monday to Friday, and returns via Shrewsbury in the evening. It's powered by Class 67 and Class 82 diesel locomotives if you're interested in that kind of thing and it consists of three standard coaches and a first class carriage which is essentially half seating and half kitchen. In this coach the seats are laid out in a 2-1 configuration. Instead of booking a first class ticket I would advise buying a standard advanced ticket and then upgrading when you get on the train. At the time of my trip the upgrade was £20 between Shrewsbury and Hollyhead. The ticket includes a three course meal and non-alcoholic drinks. Now I think this is probably the best value upgrade of any train service in the UK. The tablecloths are laid before you sit down and tea and coffee is served by the dedicated and attentive first class host on board. They will also take your order which is freshly cooked by the chef while you wait. There are newspapers on board and a dedicated toilet for first class passengers. Because the train reverses at Chester, I would recommend sitting on the left hand side of the train when getting on at Shrewsbury or stations before that. This means that once you finish your meal, you're on the right side of the train to soak up the glorious scenery of the North Welsh coast, whilst enjoying another glass of wine of course. Now the approach to Conway is a particular highlight on this trip as the train first crosses the estuary by way of Robert Stevenson's famous tubular bridge before emerging beneath the daunting and imposing ramparts of the mighty Conway Castle. We cross the Menai Straits to Anglesey on another of Stevenson's famous landmarks, the Britannia Bridge. It's been modified over time and it now carries both rail and road traffic above it. Arrival at Hollyhead is around quarter past nine. Now I must admit I'm not a massive fan of the town, but I guess most people that arrive here are transiting by ferry to Ireland and to do that you don't even have to leave the station. I was, however, staying the night ahead of another trip I was intending to make in the morning, so I made my way to the Premier Inn on the outskirts of town. Well, to sum up, the Gerald of Wales train is a real hidden gem of the UK rail network, and I try and use it whenever I can. It's one of my favourite trips by rail and I hope you've enjoyed this small glimpse of the service and the scenery that it affords. I really recommend it. If you've enjoyed this content or any of my other videos, please don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments below. Thanks for watching and I'm going to catch you again very very soon. Cheers for now.